Hi, my name is Jada Brown, and I'm here with former KU Jayhawk and now current San Diego uh, Chargers safety, Daryl Stuckey. How you doing? Thanks for coming. So, what? how exciting is it for you to get back here and see old teammates and friends and just get back to KU? It's very exciting. I think it's a great opportunity for us to be here and out here with the guys and out here with the players and be able to experience this with them and let them know that we take pride in this university as much as we want them to. And you just talked about taking pride in the university. How important is it for you guys to get back and support Coach Beatty and the program and kind of what they're trying to build here at, at KU? I think your foundation is everything. And I think what Coach Bay's trying to do is make sure that the structure of, of, of the foundation is as solid as possible. So when these guys come in here and they stand, as a, their motto is they're standing on, on top on the shoulders of giants. And we want to be those giants for them. If they need anything when it comes to an intellectual thing or when it comes to just in a mentor type of thing, as a university, we want to make sure that this university has everything they need as players to be successful as men. I know everybody talks about Lawrence as being one of the best colleges to go to town to go to college in. So tell me what your experience is like as a Jayhawk in Lawrence. Growing up here in Kansas, I'm originally from Kansas City, Kansas. So Lawrence meant a lot to me because of the fact that when I got here, the environment is second to none. And when I was here, we, we set records every home game. Every season we were here, we broke another record of attendance. And I think that we're working to get back to that because we have to understand the foundation that this University is built upon its traditions, and we love our traditions, and we love our students, and we, our alumni chapter is awesome, and they're definitely are, are very much involved. So is our K Club, and I think that just being in this atmosphere and, and, and being in Lawrence, it was just far enough away from home to where I had to grow up on my own and, and, and be an adult and be a man, but close enough to where everybody here is so hospitable and they're so welcoming that you're never really alone. You you can easily build a support system here at the University of Kansas. What would you say your favorite memory is? It could be on or off the field as a Jayhawk. Walking through that bell tower, graduation <laughs> day, was beyond anything I could experience in my college career. Even the day I got drafted, it wouldn't amount to the, the moment I was able to walk through those towers and have the legacy of the University of Kansas a part of me my entire life and not just a part of my life. And being able to get a, a degree from here and a diploma from here and walk through those bell tires on, on a, at my commencement to come in this, to this stadium, it was definitely a great closure to the chapter of, of my college career. And being drafted after that, it, it, it did not match that emotional feeling. Because when you get drafted, it's a new start. It's another door you're opening to start a new journey. But when you're here, when you walk through that bell tower, it's a conclusion of a chapter and stepping into a new so it was awesome. What advice could you give any of the current Jayhawks that want to aspire to be an NFL player or continue their career beyond college? I think one of the greatest things is that you have to understand that everything you do in college is going to set the foundation for the rest of your life. And you got to take advantage of the opportunities that you have. And you can't ever control the moments or the opportunities that you get, but you can't control the momentum. And that's one thing I was told a long time ago in a different um, words and recently in those exact words is that you can only control the momentum in your life. You control the build up, you control the momentum of everything, but those when those moments come, if your momentum isn't right or isn't strong enough, you won't be able to get through them as good as you could have in the beginning. And you're going to go through trials and tribulations, but it's all about how you come out of it, whether you come out stronger or come out weaker afterwards, because everything in life is a lesson. And I think when you're in college, you make the sacrifices you need to make to never put your dreams, your goals, aspirations at risk. And I think if you make every decision based on whether it's helped me or hurt me, it'd be a lot easier to navigate through what I, what I want to experience, what I need to experience, and what I really don't need to experience. Okay, so I'm going to go off topic here. And you talked about your wife before the interview. And Lacey went here, and she's a KU yeah. grad, and she's also the sister of former KU basketball player Tyro Reed. So does athletics run in the family? And if so, I know you have kids of your own. Do you plan on sending them to college and being Jayhawks and continuing the tradition here? Well, we do have a Stucky Family Football Scholarship and working on a second one. So for us, I think that academics is more important than anything because it's, it will sustain you for your entire life. And your athletic ability means nothing if you're not smart enough to maintain it and control it and put yourself in a position to be successful. So for us, yes, we'll be an athletic family. We will push them to play sports at a young age just because of the fact that I think it, it, it grooms great life lessons. But I'm not in a rush to force him into football immediately. He can practice on tackling in the backyard. He don't need to tackle until his body and his mind is ready to get to that point. But and at the end of it, he can make his own decision whether he wants to play football, basketball, baseball. Right now, he likes anything that's a sports ball. <laughs> and my daughter is not too far falling behind him. They're three and one right now. My daughter being the youngest, Kinsley, and my son, Jason, is the oldest at three. But they just they just love having fun and, 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 being, and, and, and being basically impressionable on me and my wife. They love making us smile, love making us proud of them. So they'll do just about anything that 
Right now, I think they both love dancing more than anything. <laughs> we are super grateful for the impression that you've made on this university, and we're glad to have you as an alumni, and thanks for your time. Oh, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it.